Hey guys, welcome to Blue Note, and Blue Note is about timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you, like, share, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, guys. Um, I'm getting this a uh, very annoyance, annoying, annoyance type of energy. Um, like I'm getting this energy, like you're a little fed up. Um, you're kind of like burnt out in this energy. I'm getting a burnt out energy like you're tired. Um, you're in this energy of I, I'm strongly getting no right and I'm strongly getting the beyond no like if I already said no I mean no. Um, I'm just not really in a mood to explain why I'm saying no. I'm just in this energy of being annoyed because I'm getting some type of questioning on why i'm saying no if i say no i'm saying no like i'm getting that type of energy okay um and it's overall energy you got mature man clarified with the emperor in reverse and the seven followed by the seven of wands so i feel like whoever this mature man this could be a taurus gemini energy you could be somebody who is um a father figure could be a good guy um trying to be a good guy maybe somebody who is really an important person maybe you somebody in charge probably trying to be a gentleman on whatever situation this is okay i feel like you're kind of like very fickle i'm strongly getting this energy of this person being very fed up i feel like you're in this energy of probably plotting and planning something here okay you could be like a leader or a teacher or a spiritual guru or a guru in general. You could be somebody who is probably highly highly influential. You could be an influencer, okay? I feel like you have a lot of authority here, okay? I feel like you're in this energy of really... Um, I feel like you kind of like out of control right now. I feel like you, this is a mental thing. I feel like you're really kind of fucking fed up here. I feel like right now, I feel like you're really being stubborn. I feel like you're trying to control your anger right now. I feel like you're in this energy of feeling like somebody is trying to abuse their power with you in some type of way. I feel like somebody in your energy, or this could be you, that could be out of control in a sense, okay? Um... I'm followed by with the seven of wands this is why i think it's somebody outside of you i feel like you're really fucking fed up with whatever this is okay i feel like you're looking at this energy and i feel like you're kind of feeling like you really need to protect yourself or stand up for yourself from whoever is in this energy with you or making you feel like you're kind of annoyed in this energy okay i feel like you're standing your ground because i feel like you may be under attack by someone or several people okay this could be several people that's attacking you okay you may be above these people or you may have been illuminated some secrets or unveiled some secrets or learned the truth about whoever this is so i feel like you're being very defensive in this energy okay i strongly feel like you're being attacked it could possibly be spell work or manipulation from somebody who who really is like I'm strongly getting like somebody if you said no to somebody or you you you're not you disinterested in somebody or you really not fucking with several people I feel like these people are really trying to find clever ways to actually try to be rebellious towards you or find clever ways to send some type of dark spell work or manipulate you in some type of way these people are really lowering you they're very low vibrational I feel like if they are trying to find clever ways to try to create some type of chaos in your life they're really like not that smart okay i feel like whoever this is is really angry i feel like whoever is whoever these people are have a lot of trauma with them they're really bitter because whatever you're saying no to whatever you're standing your ground on i feel like they're not agreeing with it they don't like that you're saying no to whatever this is okay you could be somebody who is having some type of unexpected income you could have a new job or i feel like you just you may have gotten some unexpected income that you're not sharing and i feel like whoever whoever this is in your energy i'm strongly getting some type of annoyance energy some it's like people that may be having their hand out i'm getting ratty type of energy filled mouse whoever this is is somebody like like a rat i feel like somebody is like 
asking you for money or always asking you for something or always got a fucking story or a sob story um you may be coming up against some type of unexpected income and i feel like you really worked hard for whatever this is with this toiling labor okay and i feel like somebody is on your ass because they want it and i feel like you're saying fucking no and you're being very defensive and since you're being very defensive in this energy i feel like somebody is sending some type of dark spell work towards you you I feel like you're going another pathway. I feel like you may have gone through a spiritual enlightenment, spiritual awakening about these people. And I feel like you are going towards another pathway out of this connection or out of these people, out of these people life. You're not taking these people with you, so to speak. OK, you're going another journey here. OK, you may be going another journey into another connection. You may be going another journey into a, a new relationship. And I feel like whoever this is, is feeling very defeated and this is why they're sending this spell work towards you okay i feel like this is something that you're actually discovering in public that somebody is feeling defeated okay yeah this is a distance in horizon this may not even happen yet or this is happening right as we speak somebody is doing some type of spell work towards you and you're feeling like you're needing to protect yourself from this person okay Followed by with this, this five of swords in reverse, I feel like you're moving on from somebody and I feel like you are really like communicating with this person and telling this person that you're moving on from them. But this person is still attacking you with some type of spell work and I feel like you're not having that shit because I feel like you literally got clarity. Something has been illuminated. This may be somebody who you may be in a connection with, with this two of cups in reverse. I'm about to say in reverse. You may be in a connection with this person in some way, shape, or form. I feel like you have clarity on whoever this is. I feel like something has definitely been illuminated that you really need to protect yourself from this connection. Because this person is in this devil type of energy, okay? Strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, um, Leo, Capricorn energy, okay? This is somebody who you're in a connection with that's really kind of, you, you have some type of bondage with this person, okay? There is some type of dependency here. I feel like you are really understanding that you, this is an enlightenment about this person. You are enlightened that this person is in this devil type of energy, okay? This is somebody who probably is trying to manipulate you, um, trying to give you some type of false um, information here. They're trying to bully you in some type of way. Whoever this is, this could be somebody who may have mental health issues. They may be addicted and obsessed with you. They may be somebody who repeat negative patterns, okay? I feel like you are really trying to detach yourself from this person and overcome this obstacle with this person. Because whoever this is, is somebody who is very dependent on your finances. And somehow, in some way, you are saying no towards this person. You're controlling your narrative of your life you're taking control of your life and you're standing up for yourself and you're saying no to this person because whoever this person is is really upset because literally they're in some type of financial mess okay this is somebody who is really overwhelmed they're unorganized i feel like this is somebody who makes poor financial decisions i feel like they always walking around with the ball in the air and i feel like this person is used to being dependent on your finances in some way shape or form okay and i feel like you're completely disinterested in this fucking pattern okay i feel like you're detaching yourself from this person i feel like it's causing you to be unhappy and very discontent i feel like you realize that this person is very reckless probably with your finances probably being very reckless this could be somebody who you may have had some type of connection with and you may have shared finances with them and i feel like they fiddle and gamble with your finances in the midst okay you have to really stand up for yourself in this type of energy okay you have a negative focus on this person because i feel like whoever this is is probably somebody who tried to make you feel trapped and stuck maybe in this energy uh, i'm strongly getting that somebody is they they made you feel they they made you feel trapped and stuck but i feel like this is somebody who tried to sacrifice you and your finances okay somebody tried to have you in some type of financial imprisonment or financial prison to, prison to make you feel um make make you feel like you have to really take care of them or make you feel like they are dependent on your finances in some type of way literally and i feel like you kind of like stalling in this energy i feel like you literally is not doing anything about the situation i feel like you don't even give a fuck i feel like you really have the upper hand in whatever this is 
This person may have tried to make you feel trapped in some type of way, but I feel like you have some type of um power over this dependency here. And I feel like you in this energy of saying, fuck no, this is not about to be achievements here. I feel like there is no victory and success, whatever this person is doing with your finances. I feel like this person is playing a bunch of mind games. Okay, with this page of swords on reverse. This person is playing you. They're manipulating you in some type of way. And I feel like this person is attacking you with manipulation and spell work. And this could be seven people in cahoots with this, okay? And you is not having that shit. This person is about to be really in balanced okay their their cups is completely spilt over okay this is caution in the wind here i feel like you already know that this person is trying to attack you and your finances and i feel like you ain't having none of that shit okay you are in this energy of going through a cycle change and you're not taking these people with you okay okay you're going through a change you're going through a shift because there is definitely a shift here okay Virgo Libra energy, I feel like you're on your own self journey. I feel like you're moving. You could be relocating, but you're definitely making some type of movements here. And it has nothing to do with these people, okay? I feel like you're hiding. You may be ghosting from these people. I feel like you're not giving them the attention that they're looking for. Because this is somebody who, or these are several people who are trying to make you feel some type of entrapment here. They're trying to make you feel stuck in some type of way, but you're not stuck at all. There's definitely some shift here. I feel like you're letting go of the past here. Okay. You're growing up and maturing. I'm strongly getting that you are getting some type of whiff of information where you really need to, um, you may have gotten the whiff of this information that this person probably tried to make you feel stuck in some type of past or stuck in some type of energy. And I feel like you're growing up and maturing and I feel like you're seeing what the fuck is going on. Something has definitely been illuminated. You're definitely getting some type of clarity or truth about what's going on. And I feel like you are setting boundaries and expressing yourself or this is something that you really need to do. Okay, this could be something that could be happening in distant horizons here. But I feel like you're already in this energy of um, controlling this narrative here. I feel like you're in a good spot here because you're, you're, you're seeing the truth. I feel like you're emotionally detached from this already. And I feel like whoever you're, um, that you have some type of bondage with, I feel like they're trying to make you feel stuck. I'm getting crabs in a barrel type of energy. I feel like you're crawling out of the barrel, but I feel like somebody is really pulling on your leg. And I feel like you already see the lies being exposed about these people. I feel like you see seeing the truth. I feel like these people try to put you in some type of mental term or you're with your finances or within your life. Somebody tried to, somebody or some people tried to make you feel stuck in some type of way. 12 on o'clock, okay? That is the hangman. Somebody definitely tried to make you feel like you are stuck in this type of energy or tried to block you in some type of way to, to for you to move on to another direction, okay? Somebody definitely tried to sacrifice you, okay? But I feel like you're still going to be building, I feel like you're blocking off your emotions. You see the truth. And I feel like you're still going to be building whatever whatever this is, okay? You're still going... You may have started a new job. That's what that unexpected income was. You may be starting a new business. And I feel like whoever this is, is on your ass. And they want a piece of it. They want a piece whatever... They want a piece of whatever you're working on. They want a piece of whatever something new that you have been working hard on. They want everything that you have, Okay? Because I, I'm strongly getting that this is somebody who you are not like connected to in some type of way, but you have some type of financial tie with this person in some way, shape or form. And whatever, whatever you do that's new and whatever you're showing that this person that you're getting something better, they want to be, they want a piece of it. They don't want it to be, they don't want you to do this without them they don't want you to they want to be taken care of this is somebody who wants you to take care of them or several several people that you're actually taking care of and you're realizing the truth about these people okay this could be um with the six of cups on reverse this could be somebody somebody from your past okay this could be somebody who could possibly be somebody who is a sister this could be a single mother this could be a friend or this could be a close friend that you're dealing with this is somebody who is being very clever and very creative on how they are trying to get some type of finances from you and i feel like they're trying to be very creative because they know that you're letting go of them okay they're really trying to force their way into your life or they're coming in with this aggressive type of energy being very creative and using their manipulation 
manipulation as a weapon, okay? This is probably somebody who probably lies a lot. They're probably bringing a, bringing a lot of fucking trauma into your life. Could possibly be somebody who has mental health issues, like I said before. This could possibly be somebody who is a psychopath. But I feel like you're completely, you may... You may have like a weak spot for this person. It is something about this person that you have a weak spot for this person. It is nothing about emotions. It's something about finances. You may have felt bad for this person. You may have lended this person some type of money. But I feel like this person has gotten really out of control with um, lending, handing, having their hand out with you. Okay? But I feel like at this present time, I feel like you're really using your discernment about this person. I feel like you really need to express yourself about this person. I really need to, I, I, I said I really need, you really need to um, block this person out. And I feel like that's what you're doing here. That's what the shift is that's happening here. You blocking this person out because you see the truth here. This is the truth here. You see this person's secrets. You see that this person may be very deceptive. You see that this person may be trying to backstab you in some type of way or give you some type of illusion in some type of way, okay? This person is trying to burden and stress you in some type of way, and I feel like you may be in regret for actually dealing with this person. Now, like I said, this could be a connection. This could be a connection in any way, shape, or form. This could be a sister. This could be somebody who you just connected with or somebody who you have some type of bondage with with some type of finances. This could be a, a relationship that you have left from the past. This is somebody from your past, okay? I feel like you just really realizing that this person really is giving off some type of illusion. They have some type of secrets, okay? And I feel like you kind of, you, you setting boundaries with this person. This person do not fucking like it, okay? This is probably somebody who gives you a fucking sob story. They probably cry in front of you. Probably go off the fucking handles because of some fucking finances that you earned and you deserve that you worked hard for, okay? You are in this energy of still building. You, you learning and studying something new. And I feel like you're protecting yourself. This is, you, you may be actually moving on to another connection, as well i strongly feel like you may be um really determined to have victory and success and overcome the obstacles in, in this situation because i feel like you may be moving on to another connection here okay and it's causing somebody else to bring some type of drama into this situation probably bringing a lot of chaos and havoc into this situation i feel like this person is trying to bring a lot of confusion and pain Okay, they're really trying to bring some type of drama in a situation because they know that you may be fine or you may be in love with your work or you may be in love with your new job or you strongly are probably in love with somebody else who I strongly feel like you may be protecting yourself or protecting this connection from this situation, okay? Let me clarify. Yeah, whoever this is, this is somebody who may be doing some type of dark spell work or definitely manipulating you in some type of way because they know that you're moving on with your life. You're going another pathway. You're going through a cycle change. And whoever this is, do not like that you're going through a cycle change, okay? This is somebody who wants you to stay stuck. They want you to stay in some type of low vibrational state. And I feel like you have clarity you're very aware of who these people are and i strongly feel like it's not more than it's, it's more than one person it could be like several different it could be seven different people in cahoots trying to trying to trap you with your own money okay I feel like you're really determined to overcome whatever this is and i feel like you're blocking people to fuck off and they're scared Whoever these people is, is scared. So, and they're confused. They're confused. So, what they're going to do is going to, they're going to try to bring some type of conflict into whatever situation it is. But this is going to be really sudden. It's going to be very sudden for this person because I feel like you're not really fucking with whoever this is and they know it. So, they're, and since they know that you're not really fucking with them, they're going to try to bring some type of confusion and pain or drama into the situation because they know that you're moving to another direction. Okay. Tell me more about the Six of Cups in reverse. Um, Emperor in reverse. You're. <laughs> Clearly, you're, you're, you, you're, you're, 
you're being stubborn. You're blocking these people off with this hermit card. You're blocking them off because you're. this is not making you happy. This is causing some type of unhappiness. I feel like you don't have no kind of inspiration, no kind of creative inspiration. You have a, a negative focus in this situation. You do not want to deal with this. I feel like somebody is trying to rip you from your finances. They're trying to cause you to be in despair. And I'm strongly getting it. Maybe somebody from your past. Could be a mother figure. Could be a baby mama. Could be a sister could be somebody who you had a child with it could be anything but this person is causing you to be in some type of they want you to be in some type of fear or they want you to be unhappy in some type of way because you don't want to work it out with them okay tell me more about this two of swords in reverse please okay clearly this emperor in reverse is uh, the letters dmv GPY, BKT, AJS could be very significant. Strong DMV could be very significant with this Emperor card, okay? Um, I strongly feel like um, somebody really do not like that you're moving on. Somebody do not like that you're shutting yourself off. Somebody do not like how you have a lot of control. It's causing this person to be infuriated and out of control because they don't have no type of control over you and your finances, okay? And like I said, you may have had a weak spot for this person, not emotionally, but you may have had a weak spot for this person because, again, this could be somebody who could be a child's mother or this person may have been in some type of financial despair and you may have felt bad for this person. Tell me more about this two of swords and reverse. This is somebody who is smothering you, okay? This is somebody who you may have been in a commitment with, okay? You're blocking off your emotions from this person. This is somebody who is very weak, a very needy, very weak, very individual. Somebody who really is smothering you, have low self-esteem. Somebody who you don't even trust. This is somebody who is very emotionally manipulative. They emotionally manipulate their way into commitments. They're emotionally manipulate manipulate their way into some type of power to try to control you in some type of way and i feel like you're not having that shit anymore with this person you seeing this person is a liar they're an emotional manipulator a liar they trying to put you in some type of mental um term or you here you're emotionally detached from this person and this person really is like emotionally trying to manipulate you to be in some type of connection with them okay this person is ursula energy this is somebody who gave you some type of illusion that they was going to give you um some type of fortune or they may have shown you that they was going to help you go on another journey or go through a cycle change or help you on this journey that you want but they actually brought a bunch of misfortune they promised you a bunch of bullshit but gave you a bunch of misfortune and bad luck Okay, this is somebody who has a lot of karma attached to them. And the more you're staying attached to this person, the more karma that you're going to be attached with this person. You, This person is trying to attach you to their karma. This is misfortune here. This is somebody who is trying to cause you to be, to have some type of instability. This is somebody who's trying to cause you to be broke, to be in, in some type of misfortune here. Okay. Because they need you. This is somebody who needs you for your finances. And they want you for only your finances. Okay? Tell me more about this eight of coins, please. Okay? You are starting a new business. You're starting a new job. And I feel like you have worked hard on whatever this is. I feel like you're seeing the results of your labor. I feel like the fruits of your labor is coming in. I feel like whatever goals that you manifested, I feel like it's coming to fruition. And I feel like you're blocking off your fucking emotions. And you're completely saying no and standing up for yourself. Okay? You are standing up for yourself. You could strongly be dealing with a Leo. Okay, you are taking up for yourself from this person, okay, and you are moving forward and you're taking chances, okay. Leo Aries energy, whatever is this behind you, you're leaving it behind, and you're taking chances, and you're really happy with your choices, okay. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles, please. We already know you, you're blocking off your emotions. You got two of swords twice, you got the Emperor in reverse twice. I feel like your your mind is set. It's like it's it's completely set here. Okay. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles, please. Your mind is completely set. That's why I said it's an annoyance here because I feel like you may have blatantly told someone no or blatantly told somebody that they're not getting any type of finances or you're letting somebody know over and over again that you're not giving them no type of 
finances because you know exactly who this person is behind the scenes and this person blatantly is tr still trying to emotionally abuse you in some type of way tell me more about this eight of pentacles please what's on this clock here 24 on the clock you 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 know exactly what this person is doing. You see the truth about this person. This is somebody, uh, maybe a gold digger, a prostitute. This could be somebody who is using you for your finances. This could be a Leo. This is somebody who you're saying no to. This is somebody who is really kind of like, they're going through great lengths to get some type of finances from you, okay? Look at this. Great lips here. Somebody is probably trying to invest in you to get some type of investment from you. They feel like you owe them some type of finances. They want to get what's owed to them. They feel like you owe them their fucking life at this point. And I feel like this person is really trying to cause some type of depression here. They're playing fucking mind games, okay? This person is trying to get some type of finances from you. This is somebody who's trying to play you. This is somebody who's being very malicious towards you, trying to delay your finances in some type, some type of way. They're playing fucking mind games, period. Whoever this is. And I feel like you got a whiff of whoever this is, okay? Give me three cards, spirit. Yeah, this person played too many fucking mind games. The signs that I got in this reading is uh, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, Strong Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Cancer. Okay? This person is attacking you with spell work because they can't get no finances out of you and you basically saying no to them. So I feel like you already kind of like figured this person out and you're onto their shit and you're not having none of that shit. And this person is fucking infuriated, okay? They'll do anything to break you down. They're attacking you with spell work and I feel like you really need to protect yourself from this person. You need to block this person out. You need to block them from everything because whatever this person is attached to, they're attached to some type of karma here. This could be a curse. This could be a generational curse that this person had. This person is like literally several people. I, I, I'm not even going to outcast one person, but one person in particular is definitely doing some type of spell work on you. But I feel like a lot of people are dependent on your energy in some type of way. You're, they're dependent on your finances in some type of way. And they're watching your finances, okay? They want what's owed to them. They feel like you owe them some type of money. You may owe this person money, but I feel like this person feel like they invested in this situation and they feel like they're going to get whatever they're... They're going to get what's owed to them from being in this situation with you, okay? This is somebody who is very wicked, very ungrounded, okay? I'm getting a very dirty type of energy, okay? Bottom of the deck, in the invisible. You're trying to fucking ghost this person. Where is that hermit card? You're ghosting somebody, okay? You're being stubborn, and I feel like you're ghosting this person because you realize this person is out of fucking control. There is hope here, okay? There is hope. I feel like you are getting into your introspection here. I feel like you are seeing shit for what it is. Shit has been illuminated with this moon card. You're seeing every fucking thing. Nothing is an illusion anymore. You see in the forest through the trees here. Okay, you could be seeing orbs. I feel like you're you may be having dreams about this, but I feel like you're having a reflection mode. Okay, you're having a self reflection mode, and I feel like you're taking accountability for your actions for actually dealing with whoever this is. This may be somebody who you already probably seen this problem with, but for some reason you still kept holding on to this connection. This is a very conniving, sneaky type of person because under the scenes, I feel like they are trying to hide that they're very manipulative. Okay, but they're feel that I feel like somebody is defeated. You figured their ass the fuck out, okay? Beauty, okay? This is somebody who probably is doing some type of beauty spells, or this may be somebody who may be actually beautiful, or they may use their beauty as a weapon. They're emotionally manipulative. They probably sleep around with a lot of people. I'm strongly getting with this Queen of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who probably has a lot of sexual partners, or this is somebody who is really like a prostitute. They're emotionally manipulative in some type of way, okay? And then you have individuality. I feel like you are, you could be seeing Robins, but I feel like this person um, do not want you to actually choose to go in another direction. They don't like that you want to be by yourself 
or this person don't want you to say no to them. It's causing some type of depression here. This person don't have a sense of self, okay? They don't have a sense of self, and I feel like you're seeing the truth for what it is, okay? And you're emotionally detached from this. I feel like this is a turnoff here. I feel like this person is probably a copycat. They don't know how to be their self. They're trying to use their beauty as a weapon. I, I honestly don't even feel like you're emotionally attached to them. I don't even feel like you're like... I don't think you actually think this person is actually your type in some type of way. And I feel like this person is really angry and they're really kind of like attacking you because of that. This is somebody who really is angry because they're getting rejected. But I feel like you, by you rejecting this person is really protecting you. Rejection is God protection here. I feel like if you stay attached to this person, you're going to be attached to their karma. Because this person literally has some type of generational curse attached to them. Okay, you got the sun in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse, and you got the emperor in reverse here. Your urge to actually get into your self-reflection mode, get into your introspection, work on yourself, be by yourself. This is you wanting to be by yourself, work on yourself, be in your individual energy, and this person don't want you to be by yourself. This is somebody who might be very psychotic in some type of way. Okay? Very okay oh goodness give me two more please somebody is really upset because you you don't want to be bothered with them you want a peace of mind and i feel like they know it once you get out that door i feel like you're not coming back this is not somebody who you return to okay this is somebody who's not growing they're not growing they need they're emotionally immature they don't actually have it at the top floor and i feel like you're just completely sick of this shit this is like some fucked up shit here you gotta strategically get out of this connection i just did a reading just be right before this that you had to that somebody had to strategically get out of a situation and this is the same energy that i'm getting i feel like somebody is really upset because you want to be by yourself okay have courage awaken a warrior of light in light within you i had warrior in the last reading so i feel like you this could be a fire this could be a fire sign strong aries energy okay um i feel like the warrior is within you okay I feel like you really need to show your strength in this. And I feel like you really need to step up. And I, I strongly feel like with this Emperor card, I feel like you don't have no problem hesitating to tell this person the truth. But I feel like this person is really trying to send you some type of manipulation or some, some type of spell work where these several people that they're in cahoots with could possibly get in some type of dark kitchen magic from maybe a high priestess. Or this person is probably just doing some type of dark kitchen magic to keep you stuck in some type of way. And you blatantly do not want to be there, okay? Um, here we are with the nature. Nature is calling you. It wants to touch, fulfill, and protect you with this healing powers, okay? I just feel like you probably just need to take a walk, maybe get into nature, maybe um, take a trail walk. I feel like you really just need to breathe and get out of this. This is what is calling you. I feel like that's the shift here. I feel like you really just need to get out, of, out there and just get out into nature because I feel like whoever this is is smothering the fuck out of you and I feel like you may have to have a new strategy a new strategy is required find the path to love and happiness happiness like I said this is this is very similar to the last reading I just did I feel like you should you have to come with a different strategy with this person because this is somebody who is like hoovering over you okay they're smothering you I feel like even if you're not in a relationship with this person or even if you telling this person blatant that you don't want to be with them, they're probably constantly calling you all the time, wanting to know what you're doing all the time. And I feel like you really probably just need to come up with a different plan here. I feel like this is somebody who is doing some type of... um conflict spells i feel like they're trying to be all up in your head in some type of way they want to know what you're thinking all the time okay the lotus with you within you awakes you are master in light on high okay you just out here trying to be yourself and and completely block your emotions off and do your own thing and this person do not fucking like that you have some type of individuality because this person does not 
with the sun in reverse. They don't know what's going. They don't. They don't know what they want to do with their life. They 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 stuck on your energy because I'm strongly getting like you're some type of being for them. But I feel like you're kind of like disconnected in this connection in some way, shape, or form, okay? Let me get something from the devil card. Let me get three cards from the devil card. The rebel. I said devil. Um, let me get three cards from the rebel deck, okay? Yeah. It's like you're really ghosted in this situation and this person just really not getting the hint. And this is like... Somebody who may really just have some mental health issues, um, PTSD. They may they may have like childhood issues. You know, they need to resolve their childhood issues. This is somebody who really is like emotionally immature. They're trying to control you through manipulation. They're trying to control it, control being in this connection with you. I, I don't think that this is a relationship. Yeah, I don't think that this is a relationship. This could be just a, a sexual connection that you just in. Or this could be a, a sibling. This could be anybody who's just attached to your energy. You, you really have a very good energy. I feel like you know how to be an individual yourself. I feel like you don't have no problem with detaching from people. You could be somebody who could be an introvert in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. This could be this other person. Spend your time on some someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Ridiculousness, okay? You could be moving on to somebody else, period, okay? They broke your heart. Fuck them, okay? It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out your ass pronto, okay? You are a badass. Act like it. Okay? I feel like you just you, you just need to know your worth. Okay? Male or female. I feel like somebody here has been illuminated to their worth. And I feel like they're being stubborn. And I feel like they're keeping their energy to their self. Okay? 36 o'clock. Let me get... This is a longer reading than I thought. Let me get three more cards here about your healing here. I feel like somebody is just really like stuck on your energy and I, I feel like you did everything in your power to get out of this connection or get out of this energy with this person and this person is still, is still trying to be here, trying to invest in this connection and there is, it's very one-sided and it's like no other nice way to tell this person that you don't want to be with them and I feel like they just really still don't get the picture here, okay? They don't care. This is probably somebody who don't give a damn how they're being treated. I don't have no bottom or top deck or top card, okay? Inhale the future. Exhale the past. Let go of this past. This person may have broken your heart in some type of way. You may have learned something about this person that you do not fucking like. Whereas though you really have 